Hi guys, welcome to Kanganda News. My name is Kim the Comic as usual. And uh, yes, what can I say? Let's start off with some stories because ah, oh, so much juice I have for you. I don't know how many of you guys out there are in a relationship or like, um, I don't know how many of you out there are doing things for your girlfriend or doing things for your boyfriend or whatever kind of gifts you're sharing in this relationship. The story I'm about to share with you, I think you will rethink all the good things you've done for your partner. According to a Twitter user called Max Vaishia, Max Vaishia, uh, he shared a story of a man and a woman who were in a relationship on Twitter. And, um, well, this guy did literally everything that you would want to do for a woman. You know, he, he, he educated her. He rented her an apartment. He also bought her a car. A car. Like, she, she never had to use Uber again or Boda Boda or taxis. I don't know what the hell you guys are using in, 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 in outside countries. You could be using choppers. This chick was bought for everything. And uh, as you know, good things on this earth usually come to an end. So when this relationship ended, this chick, it hurts me so hard to say this, you know, like, this chick in her right senses sold the car, the gift of a car from, from her guy. She sold this car to find a wedding with another man. What? I know, most of you girls watching this, you'd be like, huh? It was hers, it was a gift, you know, the relationship was over. But, bro, like, do you have to be such an inconsiderate person? If I bought you a pencil and our relationship ended, I don't want to see any other guy using that pencil. So imagine how I would feel if I bought you a car and I found out that you had funded a wedding with another man from the money you sold my car with. I don't know what I would do. I think I would go to Jesus and be like, really, bro? Is this, is this, like, do I have to stay calm also in this situation? Girls, we need to value certain things people do for us. We need to value things men do for us. I don't know how much that car cost, but there is no car I know that is worth $50. So, if anything is above fifty dollars in my world, yo, I've gone out of my way. Like, I, like, I feel like I've done so much for you. First of all, you have to realize, like, you have to ask your chick, yo, okay, you've contributed this kind of money. Where is it from? Oh, well, some guy gave me a car, and yeah, the relationship ended, and I sold it. I'll be like, whoa, 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 what? You sold the guy's gift to you? Like, I don't want to be in that wedding, yo. I don't want to get married to you because I know. When things get sour, <clears throat> you could probably sell my kidney or my, my bowl. What? There is a pastor by the names of Enoch Adeboye. Uh, I think he's Nigerian or West African, whatever it is. He is going around advising young women in his church not to get married to unemployed guys, unemployed men. Generally, that's what he's saying. And uh, first of all, my opinion on this is, as a pastor or a rel religious leader, you have no right to say this. Oh, hell no! Let me tell you why. Because as far as I know, I don't read so much of the Bible, but like what I know is that Jesus accepts you the way you are. So if Jesus can accept you the way you are, why not some random chick? Oh, some random broke chick. I mean, if you're broke, you better get married to a broke guy so that you realize your condition is not good enough and you have to work towards it. You know, I don't like it when broke girls get married to rich guys and all of a sudden they're like, hey, uh, bowling, day well spent. On whose money? But come, you're broke, you're a girl, I'm, I'm unemployed. Man, we will, we will get through it together somehow. As long as we're all on the same level, I don't think it's a big problem. Because uh, back here in Uganda, you know, um, there are people who are so broke. Like these guys, I don't know how to say it in dollars. They could be earning like 
$20 a month. But these guys have like five kids, you know, they have a maid. And you're like, how do these guys do it? How do they really feed this whole family? And these guys go to school, by the way. Like, they go to school. It's not government-funded money. It's just that guy doing his hard work. So, Pastor, I, I think you're trying to encourage these girls to be so lazy and expect everything just on a silver plate. That's not how the world is nowadays, you know. Even men, we are tired of getting married or dating girls who have no money for themselves. I can't provide for you anything. So, Mr. Pastor, please. Change your mindset. Let everyone be accepted. Because as men, we have suffered so much accepting unemployed girls in our lives, broke girls in our lives. So let the same energy that we use to accept them be the same energy that they use to accept us. In my final story today, there is a man, a uh, Nigerian. You know, I don't know what happens in Nigeria, but you guys need to get checked. The whole country needs to go for therapy. There is a guy who was on a flight and decided to hold a church service on this plane. Let me show you this clip. Check it out, and I'll be right back. Now, first of all, I think this is the utmost disrespect of the highest order. I can't, I can't, I didn't pay for this. I didn't pay to get, to receive the word of God. I paid to fly safely to my destination and reach in peace. I'm not saying the word of God is, is harmful or it's, but sometimes you have to be in the right mood for certain things. And besides, if I really wanted to receive the word of God while traveling on a plane, I could have booked a ticket on Holy Ghost Airways. What? Thank you guys for hanging out with me. My name is Kim the Comic, as usual. And I will always be back with more interesting stories. Keep it locked to Kanganda. Make sure you subscribe and also hit the notification bell. And make sure you're in up to date with all our very good video updates. Till next time, peace out. Thank you.